What is up, guys? The Great 3 to 1 up to you. I'm you to a different type of video. I haven't done like one of these review videos in like a long time, so um, as you guys can see right now, I'm on the Nintendo's YouTube switch, the YouTube page. Because if you guys don't remember, um, recently, well, if you guys haven't seen it, recently, Nintendo's released, okay, hold up. Nintendo's released about like, um, like a couple of trailers coming up to the Switch and like, bruh, that got my attention. Like, too bad I couldn't actually, um, watch the full thing because it was going on all night. So, I just found trailers that caught my, I, that caught my attention. And I just want to watch the full trailer because I might have missed some. I might have passed over some. And plus, they might have showed more. And, and, um, and it, yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, the first, I'm going to go through off the, like, the order they came in, like, the ones that got my attention, you guys can see on the tab to right here. Sighting Mania, I already saw the trailer, I already showed you guys the trailers and stuff like that. We are getting this game. I am playing this game as soon as I get my capture card. And, yeah. Let's go. First off, Legends out of Breath of the Wild. And yeah, I'm gonna be talking in the middle of this sometimes because um, when I'm gonna be pausing the video and all that kind of stuff, like I'm talking over, like you can go on the Nintendo's channel and watch the full trailer and want for me to shut up because I'm just gonna be talking, like pausing the video. So yeah, I just I just want to give out my ideas of the gameplay. So like, like these are the series that caught my attention that I really like. So I'm just waiting for Link to pop up and Zelda and Ganondorf. Why now? Let's put in the little Deku guys, Deku bushes. My boy got a ponytail. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of the Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. You pull I see it. Or her. I don't know if you pull it to a boy or a girl. I never, I never watched that much of um, Twilight Forest or any other game that had you pull in it. You can see the dork himself, Ganon Dork. All his forces, I guess. A little hang gliding section, I saw that. That tree's been around a long time. Seriously, Link has been reincarnated like how many times? Wait, wait. Link has been re reincarnated how, like how many times in the series? Like seriously, this dude always gets reborn. Then he goes off into the forest, and then all of a sudden he gets reborn, and then reborn again, and then reborn again. Same as Zelda. Um. Freaking Gandorf, I guess he's just like eternal or something that always comes back. Either that or, he's, or he does, or he gets reborn. Um, just like that, like Legend of Zelda, like you play as a different character every time. I don't know if that's right or not, but still. I think you play as a different Link and it's gonna be a different Zelda, different Sheik. Well, Sheik and Zelda are the same people. Is that Zelda? Everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. Is that Zada's voice acting? Well, I guess she is a different Zada. Girls. Got those people. 
You must save her. My daughter. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What day? What day? To show like a day or like around the time they think you're gonna be finished? No? Open your eyes. The day when a switch comes out. And who's still playing a Wii U? No 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 no. Who's still playing a Wii U and like actually enjoying it? Like, I bet everybody, like, sold their Wii U to get a 3DS. I did. <laughs> Bad mistake. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Alright, it's a good game. It's a good game. I, I just, like, a lot of stuff I've been seeing that really interests me. The, um, little, like, you know more wooden shields, huh? Block fire. I have, like, nothing to say about that. One, two, switch, I've already saw, but... Hey, for the people who missed it, let's show it. Subscribe for one, two, switch. Oh, annotations are on. Sorry, sorry. Didn't plan this. I came in a live stream with this happening, like, I'm thinking, like, what's going on? Because I was really in my bed with my phone right here, like, what? And then all of a sudden, I see, like, they're about to, like, because I know about that quick draw stuff, like, you get your hands ready to go into your, like, little holder for your gun to shoot them. PG-13 and up. Um, <laughs> but this really confused me. Right there. Thinking like, what's happening? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? Ah, he missed the button. Like, I didn't know what it meant there, but I think he missed his button. Oh no, he shot first. really understand like all the stuff here because I was like half asleep while watching it but still like oh let me go back real quick so they got like clown like trying to take stuff we got guitar stuff it's like a mix of like different activities into it I never seen the full trailer because I was like half asleep Oink. really like who picked up the phone is the fastest fast or something like shaving Samurai boxing. Okay. I haven't shown my family this yet, because I was planning on doing this with my family, but still. That's actually pretty cool. Like, opinions? Still amazing. Like, it's kind of confusing because you see clowns like wrestling over the controller and then you see other people doing like lots of other stuff and it it looks weird but yet again it looks fun because you're basically like putting like an imaginative world into it so that's kind of cool on to the next one Yep. I've seen the full trailer to this because in order of this trailer really got me.
Like at first, I'm thinking this is like Smash Brothers because they like, like already like they look like they're prepared to do some stuff. Like, like you said, like this little Smash Brothers attitude towards it until I saw this weird thing. Crazy editing skills, huh, Nintendo? This is cool. Like, of course, the show makes everything seem cool, but seriously, gameplay wise, love it. Like, like, here's the thing like, this game makes, it, makes you look like. It, makes you think it's like a wide open space or something. I don't know I don't know how but like if it's like an I think it's like another side to side play get playthrough or something but I think they had like split screen in I don't I don't remember because it was like um in a live stream where they showed split screen. But I could be wrong. Arms Arms. Arms. All I have to say is arms. Okay. Okay, okay, real quick, real quick. How in the world do you want to make all your other videos 1080p and then this one 720? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Nintendo. I can't understand this. Okay, guys, yeah, so real quick, I've never played Xenoblade at all. Like, no type of Xenoblade franchise or anything. Like, I don't know how many games it is for Xenoblade. It might be, just be two games, but I don't know. I haven't played the first game, and so I don't know any about the storyline, so... Yeah. But I just thought this trailer looked cool from when I saw it at, um, at the um, live stream. And I wish I was there testing out the Nintendo Switch. That would have been cool. The only thing I recognize from this game is that blade right there because um I don't remember what the guy's name was, but some guy from Xenoblade Chronicles was in the game. But I don't know what the guy's name was because I forgot because I haven't played I haven't played Smash Brothers in so long. Like I still have like all my Smash Brothers amiibo well party. Kirby and Smash with this for Mario, Dr. Mario. But, um, yeah, I've never played a Zero Blade game. I want to try it out, actually, because the game kind of looks cool, but I've never seen actually real fighting in a game. But, um, anyway, just as good on to one of the spotlights, one of the things I call a spotlight in here, because something that really got me, like something that really just touched my soul.
And yes. Little thing right there, because it looks like it's a mushroom. It's like two things that's been hinted about this that I haven't caught yet. Three things, actually, because you can see the little question mark thing on the little um signpost. What is it called? The little light, crossing light? It's question marks. But... The most surprising thing I've ever saw. Mario in the city. It's like real people. Like I'm thinking like it looks like Station Square, like. And then you bring Mario you bring Mario to the city and then he goes off into a different world. Because I'm thinking like this is probably Galaxy 3 or something. But that Mario can roll. We had Mario in the um, city, the um, little s desert. We have it in the jungle now. Like they should have made, they should have named this Super Mario Galaxy Three or something. But hey, I'm not a game. I don't. I didn't develop this game. I don't know what they have planned for this. But still, it looks cool. It's amazing. Bring Mario to the big world, and then. Look at this. No, 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 look at this, look at this. You got Jumpman playing... Not playing, you have Jumpman on a jump rope. Well, I guess it's playing, but still. Jumpman, Jumpman. Got little fork guys. We got Mario dancing. All that kind of stuff. Got Mario to throw his hat. He has hat platforming. First game Mario has to use his hat for anything useful except for more health and for more defense. Because apparently Mario's hat means everything to him. This is a surprise too. Because what if Mario's hat was alive all this time, but now Mario found a use to it? Nah. But hey, open world Mario always gets my attention. That's why I play lots of Mario, Super Mario 3D games and stuff like that. But here's another. 720. Here's another um spotlight I found that got my feelings as well. Here we go. You guys can see the name already, but still. It's still a surprise to me. It's like new hairdos and everything. Cause I played the Splatoon. I played Splatoon demos all the time, like when I get the chance to. Cause I never had, cause I never had the, never, I was never able to play the full game because of, I've been wanting this game instead of this game. Thinking like, what game should I get other than this? Look at the little roll and stuff. It's like a new dodging engine. The secrets can blast off walls or, or whatever it's called. This. We got. Wait, does Judd have like a little brother or something? Cause we got Judd, and then we got like, like maybe little Judd or something. Cause he's like a. He has instead of the little um, darkish gray spot, he has like a little light gray. And you see Judd just fall over again. I'm sorry, I just have to go through this one part. Judd. I guess Judd represents the I guess Judd represents the good guys and the bad guys are the little Judd I'll call him Judd Jr. until I know his official name. The 
little ink clouds. We got jet packs. Well, ink packs, I mean. Kind of like an ink shock wave. Ink wave. Hold up. I think that's... What's her name? Is it Callie or Marie? I forgot. I switched her names up because of, a lot of times. I'm not good with names. Splatoon 2. What a switch. Amazing. Amazing. Hopefully it's as good as the first game because it's amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. I love it. I can't hate it. I love it. Off the bummer, man. To restore peace in the universe, now rise the eight brothers. The fate of the entire universe rests on your shoulders. Whoa! Peace, What? We got Super Bummer Man. Our Konami. That's a short trailer. I like how they say Bummerman Brothers, but there's some girls here, obviously. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, I guess my mouse dragged over something. But Bummerman, I was a huge Bummer fan growing up. I played lots of Bummerman on my mom's phone. Glad to see this game still going off, awesome, still being awesome, still going as good as ever. I'm, I'm moving this too fast. I'm moving this too fast, but still. We got Mario Kart Deluxe. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We got a new character. We got King Boo. Ooh, I just got the feather. Like. And like it's the Super Mario World feather, so they're bringing back lots of elements. So like we got the Tanuki leaf, and then the, like the Tanuki leaf replaced the feather. So it's good to see like all like old Mario elements coming back because like we haven't seen the feather, we haven't seen the feather in so long. It's nice to actually see that pop balloon like that, and this new. Okay, okay, we're using a ghost to. It's just moving fast. I gotta pause. We're using the ghost. I think this is the original Splatoon for the map or something, or the new Splatoon, but I don't know. We haven't seen a real layout of the actual Splatoon world, so. Yeah. I wonder if this is gonna be like a little, um, little um, course for it. I wonder what um, stage you're gonna choose for the course. What stage is that? Uh, I wonder what course you want to do for Splatoon Splatoon theme stages because they got Animal Crossing. Why not? They have Animal Crossing Legend of Zelda. Why not add Splatoon? It's a good game. Got Link. Yeah, I'm moving this too fast. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> Tell the Switch. And I've seen the Switch trailer because we've all, because we've all seen the Switch trailer. If you guys saw that little video I put up a little while, because it got a little copyright claim on it, wasn't doing too good on copyright claims because I had like a weird feeling from them. But anyways, these trailers, man, these trailers, like, like I don't know what to say about them because you got freaking. Like, all this epicness coming to the Switch and stuff, I'm like, of course people will want it because it's like a lot of stuff. I can see myself in my glasses. Uh, <laughs> but of course lots of people will want it because, like, it's new, it's exciting. Like, ah, my glasses. It's new, it's exciting. Like, it has all this epic stuff coming towards it. And, like, I don't know, I, I find, like, this Switch, like, um, the new, improved version of the, um, got my glasses. Like I find the switch like the new improved version of the um of the um what is it? 
of the Wii U, and like, like, I don't know, it's like, I find it amazing, and yeah. But um, anyways, guys, don't worry, there is going to be a gameplay for today, I just have to finish playing more of it, because this is actually the first gameplay I've actually done that took me two days to actually get one part done, because I want to finish Sonic CD today. So yeah, guys, I think it might come out today or tomorrow, but I am finishing the gameplay. I am finishing the game. I'm the day. The, day, the day I'm recording this today. So I'm um, yeah. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my gamers.